it's a kind of escapism because you can step into the shoes of somebody who is trying to make a fortune, try to make money while everybody else is losing theirs in the financial crisis. So you start with $900 million of your depositor's savings to try to make money with while everybody else is losing theirs. We thought that Monopoly seemed a little dated. So in this game, you can gamble hundreds of millions or billions of pounds on the spin of a wheel rather than having to spend a long time investing in bricks and mortar to see a return. You go around the board in your private jet and then every turn you have to do whatever the square asks you to do when you land on the square and then you, every turn you can then invest in the stock market. And the first player rolls the dice and in this case he's rolling the three so he moves his private jet three squares and the depositors piece three squares as well, which is represented by a, a dollar sign. I can now invest in the stock market, which is play roulette. Hit the bell, which means the markets are open. I'll do the timer. I now have a minute to place my chips. I'll place some bets. 100 million on red. I would have lost 300, 350 million pounds. In the game, everybody inevitably gets wiped out in a massive market meltdown. You just have to invest your money better than everybody else to try to stay afloat. 